to part three of my PBS Kids Mega Tier List. And hopefully this will be the last part of this of this tier list that I make a video of. Boy did that boy adding all these shells is quite an adventure, right? Well, let's move on with the rest. Let's see. That show didn't watch that one either. Shining Time Station. From what I've heard, it's an American show spin-off of the original Thomas the Tank Engine show. And I saw a couple episodes of it. And that's what Thomas and the Magic Railroad Road was. It since it had the Shining Time Station characters. So I'm putting it in good. It's not enough to be in greater terrific since I haven't seen that show, but but I like it. Sid the Science Kid? That one's a great show to teach science. I like Bill Nye the Science Guy. And it, and it was one of my favorites in my childhood, so it's enough to be in the terrific section. Hold on. Okay. Signing time? Nope. Space Rangers? I know that show as well. I like Ray Jet Go. It has some interesting features of the solar system and about space. So I'm putting that one in good. Splash and Bubbles. It has some interesting lessons about fish in the ocean and other creatures. But I'm putting that one in okay since I haven't seen a whole lot of episodes of that show, and it's already ended. Nope. Super Y? I enjoy that show for its stories and the problems the Super Readers encounter, so I'm putting that one in great. Next. Theodore Tugba. I like Shine Time Station. I've seen a few episodes of that show. I didn't know that show until Trevor mentioned that show since Theodore Tugba is his second favorite show. So I'm putting that one in good since while I haven't watched that show in my childhood and I've only watched a couple episodes, but I'm putting it in good since it has some interesting lessons. Or castle I watched. Okay, now this one, this is the, this for me is the true symbol of PBS Kids. Thomas the Tank Engine. That one, with, without any doubt, is terrific and definitely watch it again and again. And I'm sure you know this kind of image. Yeah. Ah, here is another one, Wild Kratz. It has some interesting lessons for the animals, and it has an interesting use of villains. One for it to make, use its animals to make money, the other to make food, the other that makes payment, and the other one that uses the animals to make clothes. So I'm putting that one in great. I can't think of any problems of the show though. I'm just I'm just putting it in great. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Oh. Not that one. Ah, here's another one. Word Girl. That one is like Martha Speaks. That one also has a good use of vocabulary. Especially since it's superhero themed. And I like superheroes, so I'm putting that in terrific, since I enjoyed that show that much. Word World? This is where, it, like Martha Speaks in Word Go, this one also uses vocabulary. But I'm putting that one in okay, since I'm more into Martha Speaks and you know, Word Go. Let's see. The rest of these shows, you know. Except for one more, Xavier Real and the Secret Museum. This show, this show isn't good. 
good lesson for history, especially since it's about real life people and how those people made the world a better place. So I'm putting that one in good. Now the rest of these shows, that one was that one that show came out before Wild Kratz came out. I would like to put it in the same area where Wild Kratz is at, but it was off the air in my time. Now the rest of these shows I never watched. Well, there you all have it. I did finish. Here's the terrific Arthur Bob the Builder Clifford H. Ken, Peep in the Big White World, Sid the Science Kid, Thomas, and Word Girl. This is great. The Bansling Bears, Bill Nye the Science Guy, The Cat in the Head. Curious George, Cyber Chase, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Dinosaur Train, The Magic School Bus, Martha Speaks, Our Odd Squad, Peg Plus Cat, Sesame Street, Super Y, and Wild Cries. For good, Angelina Ballerina, both of these shows, Caillou, even though I can see its problems, Clifford's Puppy Days, Don Quixote, Eleanor Wonders Why, Hero Elementary, Let's Go Luna, Pokayo, Ready Jet Go, Giant Time Station, Space Rangers, Theodore Tugbo, and Xavier Riddle and the Secret Museum. For OK, The Clifford Reboot, Emma uh, and Roy, sorry if I mispronounced the first name, Molly of Denali, Pinkalicious and Peterific, Splash and Bubbles, and Word World. There's only one bet, and that's the Bob the Builder reboot. And the terrible one is Clifford. There's no other one. And all the rest of these shows never watched. Well, that was quite an adventure, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for 108, 48 subscribers. It really helps me out. And I can't wait to give out the prizes and announce the winners. So remember, do the best that you can, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, and you'll have more chances of winning. Thanks! Bye!